Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Explain Satisfactory with me, Scruffy Joe. Uh, I'm doing a quick voiceover at the beginning of this episode because apparently when I recorded it I failed to explain why I was doing what I'm doing. Uh, so what you're about to see is me trying to sort of get the best and fastest way of gathering the required stuff that you need to move on to the next technology level before you've actually got the appropriate technology that you need to automate all of this stuff. So this is kind of a little bit fiddly, but if you kind of follow me through and um, build lots of little mini miners, you will be fine. I hope you enjoy the episode. So we now have the stuff we need to build the watsits that we want. That's what this game's all about. Uh, having the stuff you need to build the watsits you want. So firstly we need 75 plates. So if we grab plates We've only got enough to build 60. Right. Let's build some. Say 30 or 40. Let's build iron rods. We don't need any of these, but we will. You'll see in a minute. Let's just build 30 of those. That'll do. Let's make the rest into plates. Uh, and then let's build some cable. Say 20 maybe? That'll do. Right. These things are really cool and I love the animation on them. Put them in your hand. It, uh, doink. Watch them go. Love it. Okay, so that's going to gather a hundred. Oops, do the tab again. Put one there. Oops. That's going to get a hundred of those. Go running around this corner. There's bound to be something up there as well, because there's another plant. Um, and what I mean by that, I will show you in a sec. Uh, and the last one, I think, is probably for concrete. Eh. I'll stick it here for a minute. Right. Let's build some concrete. build that much concrete, can you? Right, so we just load some of that in these machines. We go concrete, what's that? Uh, we go, we don't have enough cable, so that's fine. We haven't got enough plates, so that's fine. And what else is that? That is uh, reinforced plates. So we need to build some screws, and we need to build some all sorts of weirdness. Now, can we build smelters? Yes, we can. Can we build constructors? Yes, we can. Can we build... Anything else useful? No, we can't. So... Okay. There's a bio burner on the back here. Which you could put fuel in. And it would make stuff. Make power. This is much less efficient because it's not automated.
So yeah, the point about this is that before you have conveyor belts, there's really no point in doing any other type of building. Uh, you may as well just fight on through the pain and suffering of having to actually do your, your hand smelting at a, at a bench. Because otherwise, you will... Uh, well, you, you can't do it anyway, you end up just running backwards and forwards. And it's actually quicker to just throw down a couple of miners, the way I have, uh, and then wander about, collect the raw ingredients, and then do it this way. Um, doesn't make very interesting viewing, but hey, that's okay. We can we can edit it out, right? What the game teaches you is that crafting stuff by hand is a pain in the backside, especially when you need to do it en masse, uh, and that's an important lesson to learn, which is why you have to just get through this bit and then build factories. Okay, now the other thing which is important to note is uh, what you actually need in order to build things which you're going to need to build a fair few of. So if you just hit the Q menu, um, you are going to need loads of smelters. Um, so that means you are going to need lots of rods and you are going to need lots of copper wire. You are going to need constructors. Whoops. Uh, constructors are made of reinforced plates and coils of... Uh, of cable, so that's always already slightly more complicated because that involves making rods, turning them into screws, making plates, turning those plates, adding the screws to them to make reinforced plates, and then at the other side it also involves taking copper, turning it into wire, and then turning it into cable. So it gets quite complicated quite soon, and you do need to sort of build up a little bit of a stock of the stuff that you need uh, before doing this. Now I'm just doing this not following my own advice, because I've just used all of my reinforced plates, which means I'm not going to be able to build any constructors. But that's okay, because you'll see, it'll, it'll be fine. Uh, I also don't have all of the cable I need, but I do have those, so let's just chuck those in there, uh, and then we can just quickly turn around, finish the job, which was doing this, 10, uh, and then we get our upgrade. Bish, bash, wallop, and upgrade. Okay, now, Ada's going to tell us what's going on for the next thing. But I'm going to kind of talk over her. Congratulations. You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Uh, so, Eighth we... objective. Hub upgrade, additional power. <laughs> yes, additional power. We're going to talk about Advice. that in a minute. When planning We've got logistics. We can do conveyor belts conveyor and conveyor belts. poles. So we can now move Caution. ore from a place the power into another place. It's not quite finished right because we don't have the ability to mine yet. That comes in a second. So it's still not really what we want. We can also build some foundations out of concrete, which are big ramps and things. So that's going to be quite useful because... Uh, walls are not so useful at this point in the game. I'm not really sure they invite them. But, uh, because we're going to need to build a ramp up here uh, to get hold of the concrete, which is kind of a weird sort of circular problem. So I'm just going to see if we've got enough uh, to do that now. So let's just um, tab. We've got 15. That's probably enough for two bits of concrete. Um, so that might not be enough. We might have to run back round and actually hit some concrete with a hammer. Hmm. Right. So, sorry, this menu here on the old queue. Get the foundation out. Get a ramp. That is not going to be steep enough by a long stretch. Okay, so what that basically means to me is that I'm going to need to get my stone from somewhere else. We're going to have to get my stone from somewhere else. That's a kind of a pain in the backside. So... I think I might go for a kind of a temporary quick fix. Cheap and dirty fix, maybe. Also, let's queue up this next thing and see what the next job is. Hold on. Ah, see, now that's where everything is finally go. We'll make a base at that point. So, select milestone. Thank you. Um, we do need a load more concrete. Um, and we do need a load more concrete in general. So. Let's 
build ourselves. I uh, can't quite afford one of those. So essentially, in order to get to the point where you can actually start building a proper base, there is a bit of running back and forwards. Um, in this particular start position where I have begun, the running back and forwards is caused by a lack of cement. So, I am... Uh, I'm going to... Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm going to remedy that lack of cement um, by doing a bit more cement mining in a sec. Uh, when I remember what button does what. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and make another miner, which is why I needed that copper. Uh, and then I'm going to go and put that miner on the slightly out of the way annoying cement, which will then allow me to mine enough cement fairly quickly so that I can come back and build a nice ramp up to the local cement which I will then be able to mine even quicker if that makes sense so it's a kind of a three or four stage process everything always is in this and you generally just have to try and figure out what you're playing at uh, and then it kind of goes a lot easier I'm just going to turn this copper into ingots turn some of the ingots into wire and turn some of that wire into cable and then everything should be absolutely fine. Okay, in order to solve the situation of not having enough concrete I basically decided the quickest way of doing it was simply to run over to that source that was a bit further away uh, and then stand there for a couple of minutes mining it manually and then come back and turning it manually into stuff which I edited out because you wouldn't have wanted to watch that. Um, what I will now do though is just quickly fix this up. I think we're going to need to do a quick run round grabbing all of these minerals. Uh, then we will be able to quickly move on to the next tier. And the next tier is the one where you get rid of these little machines and replace them with proper, uh, let me just use the grab all button proper machines which have conveyor belts coming out of them. They go into smelters and you don't have to do anything manual again ever again and it's all wonderful and brilliant. And the other thing I'm going to do is also build a way up to that rock because um, we need a source of rock in the base working full time so that we don't have to keep running around to that area which is flipping miles away because it's not it's not it's very very suboptimal. So yeah, we're going to quickly do this, grab that, thank you very much. I'm going to run back over here, I am going to build myself a little way up this weird steep bridge. Um, then I will set up another miner at the top. And that should sort out all my problems. Okay, so let's just, if we take this, if you hover over... Uh, an item on the Q build menu tutorial point here you can then press a number on the keypad and it will stick it there forever and you can do that and you can change them and it's really easy and quick to do and you should be doing that all the time because that means you can then go give me foundations And that's why I don't play Fortnite. Um, so there, we can run up here. And we have found ourselves the last piece of pure limestone. So we'll just quickly pick this up. Then I'll run back down to the base, which is now really quick and nearby. 
uh, and I will grab hold of a little mining machine and I'll stick that up here. Um, then, bit of edited out production of minerals and whatnot, and I will then be able to upgrade and show you what to do with mining machines. Sorted. Well, that's pretty, and also. That's kind of useful because over there, where the cursor is pointing, this is a wrecked spaceship. Um, wrecked spaceships are a little feature of the game. You might be able to get into them and find computer cores, which will allow you to research different recipes for things. And these, one there and one there, are a type of mineral which we don't have on the scanner yet. And I think they're slightly purpley, which means they're probably quartz, which is going to be useful. Uh, for electronic purposes. So anyway, we got um, we got our, our access to our local source of minerals. I'm just going to run back to the base, do a, a fair amount of uh, fairly boring stuff, uh, and then we'll be ready to upgrade, and I'll make some automation for you. Okay, so after another uh, bout of manual manufacturing of stuff, I now have everything we need to advance to the next level of production unlocks. Bonk, like so. Upgrade number four. So we've now got things Congratulations. appearing. You have unlocked hub feature, additional, additional power generator. capabilities. Buildings, which can be found Not that I've used any menu. power yet. I haven't done anything like that. This, is, uh, this has all been really Hub quick and quite simple. Analysis. Nothing has been built. Note, um, the reason for that is because it was kind of pointless to do any building up until now. Now, last objective. Good luck. now we can actually make a miner, connect it with a conveyor belt to a smelter and then put out something which you can then connect to a constructor uh, and turn into any one of the things that we actually need. Um, and we can do that all with conveyor belts, and we can also put down proper foundations, make it nice and smooth and flat, and all of that stuff. And we've got storage boxes, so we can have an output and a place to collect it all, otherwise it would be completely pointless. So we are now at that stage. Thank you very much for watching this second episode of Scruffy Joe Explains Satisfactory. Uh, I will be continuing to explain more of it in the very near future. Um, I think in the next episode, we're actually going to finally get around to starting to build things and then realizing that if you build them in the wrong order you run out of stuff and it makes it harder for yourself. Uh, so a little bit of lessons in how to avoid that coming up within about a week or so. See you again soon. Cheers now. Bye.